Here we'll see how to solve a quadratic equation involving fractions. Let's look at our helpful hint. If any denominators need to be factored, do that first. Then determine the LCD of all the denominators in the equation. Multiply each term of the equation by the LCD before solving for x. Here's our equation that we want to solve. Uh, notice the equation contains fractions. And with any, as with any equation that contains fractions, we want to clear the fractions first. So we need to find the LCD. Our helpful hint said to factor any of the denominators that can be factored. Notice the first denominator and the last denominator can't be factored, but the middle one can be. 4x squared minus 1 is a difference of squares and that factors into 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. And notice our other two denominators are exactly those two factors. So our LCD is 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. And this is what I will multiply both sides of the equation by. So multiplying the left by the LCD, multiply the right side by the LCD, So taking the LCD times the first fraction, our 2x plus 1 divides out, leaving us with 2x minus 1 times 2x. Minus the LCD times the second fraction. Remember that this denominator factored into exactly our LCD. So this entire LCD we'll divide out with that denominator, leaving us with the 6. On the right-hand side of the equation, multiplying the LCD times this, this fraction, the 2x minus 1 divides out, leaving us with 2x plus 1 times x plus 1. And now, we've taken our original equation containing fractions, and we now have an equivalent equation without fractions. And this will be uh, easier to solve. We first need to get rid of the parentheses. Here, we distribute the 2x, get 4x squared minus 2x minus 6. And on the right, we need to FOIL. And when we FOIL, we'll get 2x squared. The middle term will have 2x plus 1x for 3x, and then plus 1 for our last product. Now we've got a quadratic equation, and we need to write this in standard form. So I'm going to subtract each term on the right from both sides. minus 2x squared, minus 3x minus 1 on both sides. We'll be left with 0 on the right. And on the left, we'll have 2x squared, minus 5x minus 7. Now that we've cleared our original equation of fractions, we have an easier equivalent equation to solve. And we're going to solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. Remember, the value of a in the formula is the coefficient of x squared, or 2. The value of b is the middle coefficient, or negative 5, the coefficient of x. And the value of c is the constant, in this case, negative 7. So a is 2, b negative 5, and c is negative 7. And I'll just write the general quadratic formula first. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. 
substituting these values into the formula, we have negative b, b is negative 5, plus or minus, under the square root we have b squared, so negative 5 squared, minus 4 times a is 2 times c is negative 7. And in our denominator, 2 times a, 2 times 2. Let's go through and simplify this. This is really a, p a positive 5. And under the radical, we've got negative 5 squared is 25. Minus 4 times 2 is 8, times negative 7 is negative 56. All over 2 times 2 are 4. Under the radical, we have 25 minus negative 56, which is 81, over 4. And finally, we can simplify the square root of 81 as 9. So we've got 5 plus or minus 9 all over 4. So we do have two solutions here. One is 5 plus 9 over 4, and the other is 5 minus 9 over 4. 5 plus 9 over 4 is 14 over 4, or 7 halves. 5 minus 9 over 4 is negative 4 over 4, or negative 1. So we have our two solutions, 7 halves and negative 1. Now you should make sure that you check these solutions, especially in an equation where you have a variable in the denominator. And remember the helpful hint, whenever you have any equation with fractions, make sure you find the LCD and multiply both sides of the equation by that LCD. That will give you a much easier equation to solve.